Hi, today we're going to be making a Disney Frozen inspired large snowflake charm. This charm is uh, about two and a half to three inches in diameter and it's a good size for an accessory centerpiece to a hairband because it's kind of large in size. It's also okay for a pendant on a necklace. It's just a little bit big as you can see comparing to my hand. But it's good for um, a snowflake Christmas tree decoration. And I'll show you how to turn it into a Christmas decoration or a hairband later on in the video. Okay, so this is an advanced level design. This is an original design. And you will be needing 67 approximately 67 white bands, 18 turquoise bands, 18 clear jelly bands, and 6 ocean blue bands per snowflake. You will also need your hook and you will also need another skewer or a, a hook like this or if you have another hook, a hook would be nice to skewer your what you've made on because we'll be making in parts and of course your loom. So start in the V position with the arrow pointing away from you. Start with the white band from center to the left. And single bands, two down. Then you want to go from the third pig to the fifth peg in the center, like that. We'll start again at the bottom, center to right. Go up twice, and then meet in the center again. Take turquoise, single bands, twice. Then you want to take an ocean blue and turquoise again. And then for the capping band right here, we're going to take, this is going to be the, the point in the snowflake, kind of give it some definition. I loop it three times, so you're, you'll see four bands there. Take one single band, hook it on, and you want to pull these through. So you'll have something that looks like that. Okay, pull that through like this. And we'll use that as our capping band. Then we're going to need three white jelly bands. Put it like that on those three. That was just a single plain loop. For these two, we're going to double it. Take one band with one loop. That's going to be pretty tight there, so just be careful. And again, okay, just like that, those will be our capping bands. And we're just leaving this looser because it's going to have more of a, it juts out at the sides and then it's going to curve inwards and that's why we have a tighter here. So you want to turn your loom around. So I like to pull this capping band out of the way. The first band will be the turquoise band and then we'll loop down the center. And then the 
next band will be to the left. And to the right. take some pressure off that over there. So we're going to take one single band. You're going to take your hook, put it through all the bands on the first peg, and we're going to pull that band through and then loop it like that. So that's our first um, first part of our Snowflake. We'll have to do this five more times for six points. Okay. And store it on that extra stick that you have. Okay, so turn your beam around. And do it all over again. Center to left. Single bands, two down. Third to fifth. Center to right. Two down. Third to fifth. And we have turquoise. Turquoise. Ocean blue, turquoise. We're going to make our capping band again. One single band. Place it on the last peg. Your jelly. And then one loop. And again, one one loop. Okay, so this is the second um, petal, and we'll have to be connecting these. You don't have to connect them um, like I'm going to do right now. You could just um, connect these later on, but this provides a more stiff and stable base, so you can hang and it won't bend or go out of place. So try not to skip this part. So you can see there's going to be three levels of clear jelly bands, which is one, two, and three. So you'll want to take one of the jelly bands closest to the bottom. There's going to be two because it was a double band, so just one of them. doesn't matter which one. And then hook it on to the first peg on the right side. Turn your loom around. Get the capping band out of the way. Get your turquoise. And loop the middle row. Okay, the next one would be to the left. Pressure off your capping band. 
Okay, so we take a single white band. So this is a little tricky. You want to take your extra hook there, put it through all the bands on the first peg, and you're going to be looping that through like you did the first time. So, loop that through. Now you can pull it off your loom. If you didn't catch it, I'll be doing this again so you'll be able to see. So now you should have two petals of your snowflake that are joined at the very bottom. We'll have to do this four more times. Okay, so turn your loom around, your arrow is pointing away from you. Center to left. Two down, third to fifth. Center to right. Two down. Third to fifth. Okay, turquoise. Turquoise. Ocean blue. Turquoise. Okay, for our capping band, one. So three loops. Grab another band. Pull that through. Okay, and place that on the fifth peg. Single clear jelly. Make a triangle. Okay, single jelly, one loop. Again, single jelly, one loop. So again, we take our snowflake that we've made, we get the last one of the clear jelly bands, and then hook it on to the first peg on the right. Okay. Turn your loom around. Get the capping bands out of the way, if you want. Hook your middle row. Your next band should go to the left. The right. You can take the pressure off your capping band. Okay, so one single. Again, you want to go through all the bands on the first peg. Pull a single white through, make sure you have all the bands, and then hook it on. And then you can pull it off your loom. Careful, the clear jelly bands are very tight. Now that's the third one. Turn your loom around. 
repeat what we made. Two down. Third to fifth. Center to right. Two down. Turquoise twice. Ocean blue. Turquoise. Three loops. Makes four bands. Hooked on a single band. That will be our capping band. Clear jelly, clear jelly looped once, clear jelly, okay, so Grab our snowflake again. Half of it's done now. Take one of the clear jellies and loop it onto the first peg on the right. So turn your loom around. Get that capping band out of the way and loop your center row. Turn to the left. Center to the right. Okay, take pressure off your capping band. have one white band. And again, you'll want to go through the bands. Hook it on, pull it through. Like that. And pull it off your loom. Kind of see that it's starting to make that star formation. So turn your loom around. Turquoise. Capping band. One loop. One loop. Okay, take your
snowflake grab the last there Turn your loom around. Capping band out of the way. Loop your middle row. Pressure off your capping band. And again, you'll want to go through the bands on the first peg. Slide it through. And then hook that onto your stick. Take it off your loop. Five of our six petals. Turn your loom around. This is our last one. Two down. Third to fifth. Turquoise, twice, ocean blue, turquoise, our capping band, three loops for four rings, pull that through, place your capping band. One single jelly, one single jelly looped once, so this is where it starts to get a little complicated, you want to take your one of your last jellies again. Loop it on the far right. And then on the other side, you take one of the jellies and then loop it on the first left. You want to turn your loom around. Get your capping band out of the way. Loop down the center. Loop to the left. It will be a, a little hard to see just because there's a flake hooked on each side, but just be careful. Go to the right. Take the pressure off your capping band. And since there are so many bands, I'm just going to use the other, my main hook, and go through the row of first bands like that. And pull it through, hook it on, and then pull that through. Make sure not to miss any of the, the bands. 
I'll pull that through like that. So these are all hooked on there. So this will be half this will have to be attached on to the extra stick that you have like that. Okay, so now you're going to use one band to loop all these and make a slip knot to join all the petals of your snowflake. Let's just take this off the loom carefully. Okay. So this part is a little bit difficult. So I like to pull it off one by one. So now that they're all okay, so now that they're all adjoined, you want to pull the other side through your loop here so you have a slip knot. Pull that tight. Now you want to adjust your bands. So that looks more like a snowflake. Just the little tips up there too. If you don't have the clear jelly bands, you can always use just more white bands. It turns out like like that. It still looks good. Or if you don't have the blue bands, you can still you can make the whole thing white. I just used the colors from Queen Elsa's dress in the Frozen movie. So if you have like a few lumps like that, all you have to do is like tuck it the other side. It should even out. Okay, so for those of you who want to add it to a hairband, so I have an extra hairband here, all you need to do since you have that little extra bit there, you can still loop it through and hide it. Let's do that right now. You won't be able to see it from the other side anyways. And then you take your hairband. If you haven't seen my hairband, um, frozen hairband video. I'll leave a link in the description box. All you need is a few, um, like five or six C-clips and you attach it from behind. Like that. You probably want it on the side there. And then do that about half a dozen times or so and it should attach right on. And if you wanted a Christmas ornament, it makes a really nice gift. Let's see a little box here. I'll show you how to do that too. So I got these um, little snowflake uh, buttons from Michaels. It was just like two dollars. A little hole in the back. So since there was that little extra loop, all I did was loop this through. So you had that little extra loop. And then this was a little difficult because the hole is so small.
So I looped it through like that. And from the other side, bring your hook through, and then you want to pull that through. And use a C clip. And then hook it like that. That should stay there. And then you want to probably take a clear band. And then pull it through any one of the top bands. Make a slip knot. And you'll have yourself a Christmas decoration. It's a really nice, if you make like a set of six or something, it would be a really nice uh, handmade Christmas present. So that's everything. I hope you like my video. And uh, thanks for watching.